Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you all with another foundation review. And today I'm going to review the Guerlain La, La Essential 16 hour wear foundation. I know I just said that completely wrong. But anyway, this is not a new foundation. It's actually been out for a while. I've been wanting to try it. So recently I picked it up um, at Sephora. But anyway, let me take it out the box. And this is what it looks like. I heard that this was a really good foundation and I got the shade 05W. This is a long wearing award winning liquid foundation with 97% naturally derived ingredients with a buildable coverage and a natural glow finish. Some of the highlighted ingredients are red algae, tara gum extracts, and white cocoa bean extract. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that this does come in 30 shades, I believe 30 or 32, and it does have uh, SPF 20 in it and it retails for $60. I think with the tax, I paid like maybe 62, 64. I can't really remember, but anyway, so I'm gonna apply it to my face and then We'll kind of go from there. I'm hoping this matched me because I went off the um, Sephora shade match thing and that could be completely off sometimes. So I'm hoping this match, but anyway, let me just put it on. Okay, y'all, this is what my face looked like with the foundation on. Um, I think it matched me. I was actually shocked that it matched because I really was not expecting it to match. Um, this is very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my face, which is a good thing. I did notice that this does have a slight scent. It kind of smells like perfume a little bit. It doesn't last long, but there is a scent. So I'm just letting you know, just in case you are sensitive to scents. But other than that, um, oh, this is medium coverage is definitely medium it's not full because i end up going back over with maybe like a pump and a half of foundation to kind of like cover like my dark marks that's right here so just one pump wasn't able to cover like all my dark marks and different things on my face so you could say i use about a pump and a half to for my entire face but anyway i'm gonna wear it for a couple hours and then i'll come back and let y'all know what i think I'm already, I'm expecting some shine from this already, being that it claims to be a natural glow foundation. So usually when glow is listed in the title, I already know I'm going to be looking shiny. So I'm expecting that. So I'm not going to really hold that against that. I'm not going to hold it against the foundation because this is like a natural glow type foundation. So yeah, but anyway, I'll just see y'all in a couple hours. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It is now five o'clock. So I think I've had this on for what, six and a half? almost seven hours um i decided to stop at this point because i feel like making it a longer wear test is really not going to make a difference in my opinion of the foundation but so far i do like it i highly highly recommend y'all go pick this up this is a really good foundation i was not expecting to like it as much as i do um being that it is a natural glow foundation in my mind i was like okay i'm going to look shiny i'm going to look oily i just know i'm going to look like that at some point and i feel like um some shine is coming through but it's not that bad it's been worse and i did not block my face all day what i love about this foundation is that it's super lightweight i feel like i have nothing on it does not transfer like it did not trans my mask i even laid down a little bit and i did not see any like um makeup on my pillow or whatever like this is a really good foundation i feel like this is great for all skin types not just oily or dry um on a scale of one and ten i give this a 10 it did not oxidize i feel like it stayed the same exact shade that um it was when i applied it it still looks the same exact way to me now i don't know how it looks on camera and also kind of gave me a like a photo filter look even though of course um it doesn't claim to give you like a photo filter look but i felt like that's how i look like looking in the mirror and looking at myself like i like it better to me it looks better in person than it does on camera but 
I do like this. Um, it did not break apart like around my nose when I had my sunglasses on. This is a really good foundation. Only negative, and this is like so small. Well, to me, it's small, but I know some people don't like foundations with scents and um, scented foundations, or they don't want to put anything with like a fragrance on their face. This does have a slight fragrance scent. It's not too bad, but it is there. It is noticeable when you first applying it to your face, because when I first um, pumped out a little bit, I could smell it instantly. So that's like my only complaint about this foundation. But yeah, that's basically it, y'all. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.